Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see examples using the combination of product rule and the cohesion rule. So let us look at an example of this, this, this type. If y is equal to 3x plus 2 divided by x times x to the power of negative 5 plus 1. We want to find the derivative of this function dy by dx. We want to find the derivative of this function with respect to x at x equals to 1. At x equals to 1. So we first find the derivative of this function with respect to x and when we arrive at the, the final derivative we're going to substitute the value of x equals to 1 and then find the value of that. So therefore in here the way to solve this problem is as follows. Step number one. Step one. We're going to use the quotient rule like we did before and then we're going to then uh, use the product rule inside of the cohesion rule. So the way we write it out is as follows. The denominator which is x d by dx of the numerator which is going to be 3x plus 2 times x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 then minus 3x plus 2 times x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 d by dx of x this whole thing divided by x raised to the power of 2 okay so that is our that is how we're going to start to find the derivative. So then we're going to use the product rule in the in the numerator part, and then the way to do that is as follows. So x times the first function, which is 3x plus 2 d by dx of the second function, which is x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 plus x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 d by dx d by dx of 3x plus 2 like that minus 3x plus 2 times x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 in d by dx of x d by dx of x let me write that d by dx of x this whole thing divided by x to the power of 2 so now we can simplify this some more as follows x times 3x plus 2 now we're going to apply the differentiation part. So d by dx of x to the negative 5 is negative 5x to the power of negative 5 minus 1 is going to be equal to negative 6 like that. d by dx of x is going to be equal to 0. So therefore we will leave it there. Then the second part is plus x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 d by dx of 3x is 3 d by dx of the constant number 2 is going to be equal to 0 and then we have negative 3x plus 2 times x to the power of negative 5 plus 1 d by dx of x is going to be equal to 1 so therefore 1 this whole thing is going to be I'm going to put a bracket in here the whole thing divided by x to the power of 2 so we can simplify this some more as follows x times 3x plus 2 
3x plus 2. So we can start to um, we can start to distribute this. Let me start to distribute this in here. So the way to do that is as follows. 3x times negative 5x to the power of 6 is going to be equal to negative 15x to the power of negative 5. Then uh, negative 10x to the power of negative 6. Then we have 3 times x to the power of negative 5 is plus 3x to the power of negative 5 plus 3 times 1 is 3. So we got that. Then we have this part to simplify which is negative 3x to the power of negative 4 then 3x times 1 is 3x minus 3x like that negative 2x to the power of negative 5 negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 and this whole thing is divided by x to the power of 2 like that and we can simplify this some more and then when we simplify it is going to look like this. We're going to distribute the x to every one of the terms inside the parentheses. So this is going to be negative 15 x to the power of negative 4 then minus 10 x to the power of negative 5 plus 3 x to the power of negative 4 and then plus 3x minus minus then minus 3x to the power of negative 4 minus 3x minus 2x to the power of negative 5 minus 2 this whole thing divided by x to the power of 2. So we can simplify this some more and when we simplify it we're going to so we're going to look for uh, the terms uh, similar looking terms so we have 10x to the power of 5 minus 10x to the power of 5 minus 2x to the power of 5 is going to be equal to minus 12 x to the power of negative 5 then 15 x to the negative 4 plus 3 x to the power of 4 minus 3 x to the power of negative 4 this one and this one cancels out leaving us with leaving us with negative 15 x to the power of negative 4 then we have positive 3x and negative 3x. This cancels out. We are left with uh, we are left with negative 2 here. This whole thing is divided by x to the power of 2. So what we need to do at this point of time is he is asking us to find dy by dx the derivative of this function when x is equal to 1. So the way to do that is wherever we see x we're going to substitute the value of 1 negative 12 times 1 raised to the power of negative 5 minus 15 times 1 raised to the power of negative 4 minus 2 divided by 1 raised to the power of 2. So when we simplify this we're going to see that this is going to be equal to negative 12 minus 15 minus 2 divided by 1 so this is going to be equal to negative 29 divided by 1 negative 29 divided by 1 therefore the value is going to be equal to negative 29 so therefore the derivative of the given function y is equal to 3x plus 2 divided by x the whole 
multiplied by x to the power of negative 5 plus 1, the derivative of that uh, was equal to this value here, which is which is negative 12x to the power of negative 5 minus 15x to the power of negative 4 minus 2 divided by x to the power of 2. We've evaluated the, the derivative at x equals to 1 and then we were able to come up with the value equal to negative 29. And this is how we can use the product rule and the cohesion rule to be able to solve problems. Thank you for being with me for this presentation.